1714. It's hectic in Valley stores this time of year. Stop whining. Please. All the more reason to pay attention when checking out. If you're leaving it up to machines, it's very possible that there's an error, and if you don't check it, then nobody else is going to. That's where the Arizona Department of Weights and Measures comes in. They sell everything in the store, and we try to make sure we get a sample of everything. On this day, we're at the Target at 43rd Avenue in Peoria, where Inspector Linda Wetzel went through the store and picked out 50 random items. Target didn't let us in for the actual inspection, but Linda tells us she grabbed everything from makeup to envelopes to Rubik's Cubes to make sure the prices on the shelves are the prices you pay at the register. They can only have uh, basically one item wrong. And after that, it becomes a problem. This target passed, but the ABC 15 investigators found many other stores that did not. We dug through the past two years of inspections, and about one in five stores failed. Like the Circuit City on Metro Parkway East near Metro Center Mall. Twelve failed inspections. Or this Walmart Supercenter on Thunderbird near Dysert and El Mirage. Fourteen violations since December 2006. Walmart statewide fined almost $19,000 in the last two years. And prior to that, the Arizona Attorney General filed a consumer fraud lawsuit against Walmart for continued pricing violations. Settlement discussions are ongoing. The law says you have to be able to see the price before you buy it and you have to be charged the price that you see. Walmart says it always strives for 100% pricing accuracy. And if they do find price discrepancies, they are committed to making it right for customers. iPod Plus. Shopper Sarah Keller, picking up some eye dogs for her grandkids at Target, says she always watches the register to make sure the price is right. I don't want to be cheated and I, I don't want to cheat them. Circuit City did not respond to our request for comment. To find stores near you that have been caught overcharging, go to abc15.com. Simply click on the Consumer Alert tab and you can search stores that failed inspections and learn how to file a complaint. I'm investigator Josh Bernstein, ABC 15 News.